how's it feel to be back in the Caribbean again? Yeah, it's really nice to be back. Um, you know, it's hard to believe that almost 12 months has gone by since we were here last time. And <clears throat> I guess to have our, our first training session back on the ground where we won the World Cup, it's um, nice and familiar and holds good memories for us. And is there a bit of a buzz around the group having two new squad members join you? Yeah, some fresh faces. Uh, they're pretty excited to be here, I think. So, um, yeah, it's always nice when you've got new people coming in, um, providing different energies. So, yeah, we're looking forward to, to getting out there today and having a, a bit of a run around, and I'm sure they are too. What do you think those guys might bring to the group? Well, they're both all-rounders, so, um, yeah, I think a bit of versatility, both with bat and ball. Um, yeah, it'll be interesting to see how it all, everyone sort of fits in. Um, it's going to be pretty competitive, as always, for spots in the team. Um, but, yeah, it's nice, I guess, to be back on the road and playing cricket. And for you personally, what did you do with your month off, a bit under a month off since the Ashes? Uh, I had a, a little bit of downtime. I went to Italy for a week, so that was really nice, um, just to, to get away and get away from cricket. Um, and then came home and spent some time with the, the New South Wales Breakers. So, yeah, it was, it was really nice just to be back home and, and back around those girls. They've been working really hard in the off-season and are really fit. So, yeah, it was good to, to be back in New South Wales. How challenging is it just hitting the road again so soon after the last trip? Oh, I think, you know, it's part and parcel of it these days and we really enjoy it. Uh, you know, it's everything we ever wanted is to have those opportunities to play as often as we can and we're doing that now, so it's really great that we're over here and, and have a chance to get some West Indies. It's a pretty unique place to play cricket, isn't it? Yeah, it's not hard to, to switch off, that's for sure. Um, there's some pretty nice beaches to, to go and sit on and, um, yeah, it's such a, a relaxed place to tour. The people here are really lovely and we really enjoy the opportunities that we have to, to come to places like this. So, yeah, no doubt, um, you know, we'll get an opportunity at some stage to get out and have a look around. But, yeah, for now, I guess we're, we're trying to switch on and get onto the cricket side of things. And how was the journey over here? There were a few legs of flying involved? Yes, yeah, some more than others, I think. Um, but yeah, it's a, a, a long way to go and a, a, it takes quite a while to get here. But um, yeah, it's a pretty nice place to, to tour. So yeah, you can put up with definitely the, the journey um, and, and spend some time in the Caribbean and it's pretty good. What, what does the team usually get up to on a, a flight that long? Uh, lots of movie watching, I think. So pretty blessed these days with the, with the options and what you can, can look at. Some people enjoy a bit of banter and a bit of chat. Um, but yeah, I think for the most part, there's a couple of girls who will sleep for a lot of it and a couple of us who won't. So yeah, I think it's just a, a mixture of all those things. Any movies you can recommend? No, it's, no. I didn't enjoy much, to be honest, but um, I read a little bit. Um, but yeah, there weren't a lot of good, great movies in I think. And um, with the Wendy's, what are you expecting from them in their home conditions? Yeah, they're going to be very strong here. Um, They've got some, some new faces coming into their team. I think they've probably got a, a couple of injuries at the moment. So it's going to be a, a bit of a different challenge for us, I think, coming up against um, some fresh faces and perhaps some players we haven't seen a lot of. Um, but, yeah, they're a pretty mercurial side, and we know on their day they can be really dangerous. So, um, yeah, we'll prepare really well. Um, and as I said, at home they'll be very strong. When they do pull up new players, how does the team go about sussing them out when there's probably not that much vision around? Yeah, I think it just comes back to the basics and being really clear on what it is that you want to do as a player and um, you know, giving yourself a little bit of time as well just to assess what's happening in the game, um, whether it be as a batter or a bowler. Um, so yeah, I think we'll, we'll keep things nice and simple from that perspective. You don't have to overcomplicate it. Um, but yeah, I guess it would, there'll be unique challenges throughout the series, no doubt, um, but we're looking forward to it. And there's a bit of a gap now until the first game. What's the team going to be focusing on in that period? I think just preparation. We, we are, I guess, having spent a, a couple of weeks off, um, you know, we haven't played a lot of cricket. It's our off-season at the moment at home, so we'll have an opportunity to have a couple of practice games over here um, and a few training sessions as well, and I think that'll be really great preparation heading into the first game. Does it take the team long to adapt when they get into new conditions like this? Uh, yeah, the wickets are a little bit slower than home, but I, I guess the, the silver lining with that is we've just come from England and, and those wickets are, are pretty similar. So, um, yeah, this next week will be about that, just finding the right length with the ball and then obviously as the bat, um, yeah, just getting your timing and those sorts of things. Um, but, yeah, we've got plenty of time to adjust and as I said, uh, the, the fortunate thing for us is we've come from conditions that are pretty similar.